Mr. Carruthers? Hello? Anyone home? So the total is D280. I'm worried about the bill for now, boy. It's all arranged. My friends are good for it. As it happens, I am a veteran of two foreign wars, and I'm unable to make reciprocation on that bill. Damn Germans! Took away my livelihood. I caught some flat outside of Bremen. My leg made completely out of teak wood. You're not German, are you? Huh? Huh? Are you? No. <laughs> fine, fine. I didn't think it. I wouldn't take you for it. Did you hear that? You plague-ridden son of a bitch! Ah, gotcha. <laughs> Damn rat took off. Feels like a Jew in 39. Well, I think I've earned an indulgence. Vincent, is it? Well, here's to you, Vincent. No, thanks, I, don't I insist. <laughs> what? Damn, Colonel, it's as dark as a small asshole in here. As usual, you're late. Uh, we get caught up at the races. My man Garza took the ninth race with Space Fan 2, 7 to 1 shot. <laughs> Had to celebrate in style, as always. Hope your friend here can uh, manage a $5 ante on the serious action tonight. We're not savages. He's the delivery boy. <laughs> Sid Beauregard, my pleasure, I'm sure. Hope you brought your poker face. 
<laughs> it's hopeless anyway. I've got a little streak going. <laughs> it's a bad habit, I know. But hell, it's like having my own personal money machine. Oh, I, I'm not much for poker. Um, I just, the colonel said you would take care of the bill. Oh, he did, did he? Excuse me, por favor. Oh, we call him Junebug. Don't mind him. He's a mute. Mute to your bill to get it out of my face. See, he likes you. Junebug, don't tear the boy's arm off. God damn it, go sit down. That's enough. <clears throat> I, uh, seem to be a few bills short tonight. Brought just enough money to get into the game. But, uh, here's what a nice guy I am. Uh, why don't you stick around for a few hands? Relax. Have a drink. Let me carry these saps for a couple of hands. I'll have their pockets emptier than a lawyer's soul. Ah, oh, medicine. glory, it's his heart again. Yeah, that'll get you fixed up in no time. Yeah, breathe, Colonel, breathe. Whew. I don't know about you, but that made me build up a thirst. <laughs> Take a seat, Chief. Colonel, are you poor or not? Well, go on. Junebug, knock that shit off. Ah. Wait, a toast. Be polite. Well, let's drink to the, uh, the Roman Empire. The last time the Italians knew how to run anything. You go to college, boy? No. To Jane. It's only fitting that she died by my hand. Cherry, I think. <laughs> so, what's this shit about your rambler dying? She's dead. I killed her last night. I pushed her off the pier. That's a damn shame. That was one fine automobile if I ever saw one. She was beautiful. My only regret is that I wasn't in her before she went under. Ha! <laughs> yeah, you can tell a whole lot about a man from his car. Uh, what might I inquire do you drive, Vincent? Oh, I, I don't have a car. My brother has a car. A Volkswagen. Volkswagen! It ain't nothing! He didn't mean it! I didn't mean to take a German bullet in the hip! <laughs> Medicine, Colonel. Medicine. <laughs> <sighs> yes, yeah, medicine. <laughs> to each his own. <laughs> uh, my temper gets the best of me sometimes. It don't mean nothing. So I'll have another drink and get down to the business on hand. <laughs> I just have to go to the bathroom. Go. Bathroom's that way, son. Stupid of me. Whoops. Toilet is out of commission. You got the choice of the sink or the bucket. We'll start the first hand without you. Just leave. 
even be. He just upset. He's upset because we're not playing with your mock deck as usual. It's a goddamn sore loser. That's what he is. Goddamn loudest mute I ever heard. Don't talk to him like that. I'll talk to him however I want. I paid my dues. This ain't no romper room for retards. Now you shut him up or I will. It's more the old Mexican cough syrup. Yeah. Uh, you know, after a hand like this, I feel like John Wayne in the sands of Iwo Jima. <laughs> Thanks for the drink. Um, I've just, I've really got to go. My boss is going to be wondering where I am. You're not leaving until we drink a toast to John Wayne, a true American hero. I don't know, Colonel. I'm more of an Eastwood man myself. Besides, to toast John Wayne, don't you think we ought to have one of those tiny umbrella drinks? A daiquiri or a pink lady, perhaps. Pink lady? When that Duke killed all them listless Indians squatting on our land, he didn't drink no pink lady, he drank a manly drink. Yeah, in the movies, maybe, but in real life, wasn't he a little, uh... But queer! John Wayne wasn't no queer! He's twice the American! You know what I mean? Well, to the public at large, he might have been the Duke. But in more intimate circles, they say he preferred to be known as the Princess. Think of your heart. Fuck the moon and June and the sea. 